that's the kind of sound you should make. Hey there everyone, Dan here from the Diamond Minecart and welcome to another Minecraft mod review where today I'm going to be showcasing the Carboniferous mod which adds in a completely new dimension into your Minecraft game that transports you back in time all the way back to when ancient creatures ruled the earth. Now calm down, this is actually, I have myself a beautiful and legendary assistant named Dr. Traorus who is going to help me in this mod review to investigate this amazing new world that we've discovered. So how are you feeling today sir? Great, I'm glad you're feeling fine. So first up, we have some recipes to look at, so don't go running off after you interrupted my, my intro there. So what we're going to need is a time rod and a time box. Now to create the time rod, you're going to need two pieces of iron, two pieces of redstone, and a diamond as well, which is not too bad considering you get to go to a whole new dimension. You're also going to need four other iron ingots and two blocks of lapis as well as two redstone and a diamond to create your time box too. So the time box and the time rod work together. You're going to have to actually place the time box in the ground, so like this. Um, if you place it like this and then activate it, the um, structure will actually appear on top, which isn't what you really want. So place it into the ground and it'll look a little bit better and wow it's actually storming so are you scared Treoris? I hope not you're supposed to be the bravest of explorers so you're coming with me so what you have to do to try and get to this dimension and spawn in the portal is you're going to need to right click the time box with the time rod so let's do that right now you need to stand back stand back Treoris. stand back there we go we've got a beautiful beautiful portal and we're going in Treoris. we're going to this new land come join me come on let's go through let's go through go through there we go that's more like it we'll see you on the other side go on Treoris. Get in there. There we go. Let's meet him on the other side, kids. Aha, here we are. This is the amazing new dimension. I've got lots of things set up here, and it's raining here as well. So the weather kind of coincides. And where is Traorus? Traorus? Traorus, where are you, sir? Where are you, Traorus? This is no game right now. This is no game. Oh, well, we'll just have to try and find him later. So let's just get to the rest of the mod, and we'll see if we can find him later on. Can't believe he's actually punked out on me now. I can't believe it. Right, so while um, Traorus has just wandered off, leaving me by myself in this dangerous domain, we are going to check out some ores which appear in this new dimension, which starts with the fossils, and when you mine fossils, you will get bones. They're kind of like a little dinosaur skeleton in a piece of kind of like brown ore. So yeah, that is what the fossils look like. We've also got gold ore, which um, appears obviously in the overworld and can appear down here as well. We've also got a new one called hematite ore, which looks pretty cool. It's kind of like a brownie color. We've got pyrite ore, which looks similar to gold, but a little bit more orange. And looks like this one will give you pyrite crystals when you mine it. You'll also get char carbon ore, which is basically just the version of coal for this particular dimension. You can also get diamonds down here, but it's a bit harder to spot because there's only a slight bit of color on here. So it looks like kind of like normal cobblestone, but with a diamond in the center. So yeah, you can get diamonds. You can get another gold ore, which is in one of the different biomes here. Another version of hematite ore and another version of pyrite ore. So these versions are in the different biomes. There's actually seven different biomes in this dimension, one of which contains volcanoes. And yeah, do I, do I, even, do I see a name tag behind there? There you are. Dr. Treoris, you are taking the actual mic right now. Don't just be hiding right- Oh, what? You found a volcano? Well, show it to me. Dude, we need to be so careful right now. Dr. Treoris, don't- Don't make any- Don't make any stupid moves right now, okay? Don't make any stupid moves. Oh, no! Dr. Treoris! No! You know what? I'm not too bothered. It was his own silly fault. He should not have got so close to the edge. But hey, I told him, I warned him, and he was he was pretty pesky anyway. But here is a volcano. This is the volcano that will spawn in any biome, any shape, any size. This is a particularly big one. They don't have really anything special inside them. They're just, you know, lava. So just go on fire and die. But hey, it looks pretty sweet, and you can mine some of this stuff too. But yeah, as you can see, if you punch the edge, lava will just spill out. And it wasn't really a great idea to um, have it spawn near forest because the forest will just go up in flames. But anyway... This is a beautiful, beautiful volcano. Just be very, very careful near the edge. Ah, and this is actually something I want to show you as well. This is called a spider dungeon. It's a randomly spawning structure, which is basically just a dungeon full of cobwebs and spiders. Some of the new spider mobs in this mod. And as you can see down there, there are some of the new mobs. And there's someone else down there. Who is this? Dr. Traorus? We just watched you die. Did you just... You planned the whole thing changed your outfit and you just wanted to go for the treasure yourself didn't you didn't you didn't you well you can you can get in the pit with the spiders you can get in the pit right now yeah you've got no chance buddy no chance i'm sick of you sick of you 
Right, so now we have disposed of the traitor that is Mr. Traorus, then we're going to move on to some more useful items in this mod. And one of the most useful ones in here for creating stuff with this mod is the grinder, which you're going to need a granite gear, a granite, and a granite cobblestone for. So to make these, you're going to need some granite cobblestone, which you can get from just mining normally in the world. You can also craft it as well, but we'll check that out later. You're going to need four pieces and a piece of any kind of wood, which hasn't been made into wooden planks to make the granite gear. And then to make the normal granite, you you can smelt granite cobblestone and I believe you can grind up normal granite to make a granite cobblestone as well so that is it and this is the grinder in its full glory it looks really cool really minecrafty and looks awesome so if we right click we get this GUI here it's gonna need some kind of fuel and then we'll get to some more recipes in a sec so in here we need some kind of thing to grind up the stuff that we put in so that can come in the form of either a grinding stone or an iron grinding ball now to make a grinding stone you're gonna need a pearl and four granite and the pearl is actually from one of the mobs in this model which we'll get to later we've got the grinding stone that comes from that recipe and then you can actually soup this up by adding four iron ingots to the grinding stone and make the iron grinding ball so let's grab this ball here and then look at some recipes in the top so we can actually make an iron ore clump if we put hematite and pyrite crystal into there we can actually make um, carbon dust as well if we put charcoal in there and we'll show you the granite stuff too too. and there's some cool stuff you can do with this coral as well which is sweet so let's right click on here you put the ball in the top whether you have the grinding ball or the grinding stone and then you put your materials in the bottom so this time we're gonna put hematite and a crystal in here and then it will burn the wood or whatever you have to fuel in here you can use anything like coal charcoal lava or wood as in this case and it will start to grind up and this durability bar here will show you how much durability your little grinding ball has so when this full red it will actually break so there we go we've made some iron ore clump we're going to smell up this charcoal, or grinding up anyway, to make something else, which is pretty cool, which is the dust. And then we can move on to show you what to do with this coral. Now, the coral is actually found underwater in this dimension. So there you go, carbon dust. And we can grind it up to make some pretty cool stuff. It actually makes dyes. So this orange one will actually make four of the orange dyes. So it's just a really... A, a bit of a quicker way than just, like, dyeing sheep and shearing them. So it's a quick way to get some orange dye. And this one will obviously make yellow and then the red one will make red. So we'll just wait for this to finish up and then we've got some cool other things to check out. There we go. There is the four dandelion yellow. So let's go into the other chest here. We've got some interesting items I want to show you. The first one is the flippers. Now the flippers you're going to need two iron ingots, one set of amphibian skin boots and some amphibian skin which you get from some of the mobs later and you also have this armor here so I'm better show you this first and you just use it in the kind of like the traditional armor shapes with the amphibian skin which you get from a mob drop and it it kind of gives you, when you're wearing the full outfit, it will give you three and a half points of armor, which is pretty good, pretty decent, considering how easy it is to get, and you can actually make these flippers too. So let's go into this water here, just showing you the normal swimming speed, and the flippers, when you have them on, so as you can see, is pretty slow, pretty laborious, but if you have the flippers on, so we're going to put them on first off, you can't run in them. So that's, this is a double tap to run, because they are so big, they're actually coming off of your character. Look at that. They don't actually allow you to run, which is a very, very nice and sensible feature. But when you're in water, these things fly. So you walk slower as well. Damn, this is really slow. So let's um, walk into the water. And we are going at super speed. Check this out. Oh, my God. I'm not flying or anything. I'm just moving forward in the water. And it's going insanely well. So you actually have like kind of like a sprint underwater. And you're going pretty fast as well. Oh, hello, sir. Luckily, I'm in creative, so he doesn't attack me. So let's go through here once more. And yeah, that is looking real nice. So those are the flippers. Really cool addition. And yeah, maybe they could be even be in vanilla Minecraft. Who knows? So let's take these off and see what else is in here we actually have a anthill and a net as well so let's just put these in here and to make the net which we're going to use for later you need three string and two sticks very very simple we're going to save that for later and we also have an anthill as well so i'm just going to switch over to game mode zero for this so we're going to put the anthill down and these spawn everywhere there's actually some there's actually like six in the view right now so if we go up to one and punch one we won't have any mobs but we will have a little collection of ants so this can spawn like one to six ants i think we only got one this time which is pretty bad and you can actually cook these bad boys i um, deadly serious you can cook these up and eat them so they're I wouldn't advise that they're delicious but um what needs must I guess if you're hungry and you only can find anthills then you must eat ants let's try this out oh my god it's beautiful oh my yeah that was tasty so tasty <laughs> so what we're gonna do now is move on to some mobs which we can show you how to use the net so I'll see you in a second right so the first mob I'm going to show you is the dragonfly which looks like this is randomly spawning in the world and if I right click it with the net it won't hurt you or anything you can capture it so it will turn into a drop of itself you can pick it up and yes you can 
cook them. So I'm going to go ahead, jump over this gap, and cook this bad boy just because I can. So I'm going to cook it up, and I can eat it. So this is kind of like a really feral mod. I just can pick up anything and eat it. It's pretty gross, but sweet at the same time. These are readily available, as with the ants. So, oh my god, it looks beautiful. I can't eat it right yet because I'm just too full, which is unfortunate, I guess. We won't be able to taste the dragonfly, but anyway, let's move on to the next mob, which is the brachiopod. And this is the brachiopod. And this is pretty interesting. It acts kind of like a clam. Now, I'm not sure how to open it. Um, I think I need to right click it and it will open and sometimes there will be a pearl inside I'm guessing but if you right click it will actually hurt you so you need to be very very careful here so let's see if we can get it to no it's completely oh my god what's what's going on don't you dare oh it just died so the next one is the ammonite it looks like a little snail it is cute as hell it doesn't have a face but imagine if it did it would look beautiful. So this doesn't actually do anything. It doesn't hurt you and you can just punch it to death, which is inhumane, but fun as anything. The next one is called the Dend... Oh my god, I can't even say that. The Dendropepepaton, let's just say that. And this is the little lizard that we met earlier. It's not actually hostile, it doesn't actually do anything, but when you hit it, I believe it runs away, so it doesn't want to be concerned with humans at all, and it's fallen down. Let me put you out of your misery, sir. Oh, okay, it's just run away. Let's just leave it at that. So up next, we have the Mesolala... I can't say that one either. It's a spider. Look, it's a spider from the cave that we saw earlier. So let's take these guys out. Oh my god, it's really, really tricky to hit. And it'll drop a spider eye as normal. And cobwebs, I believe, as well. So those are really tricky. They're trickier than cave spiders. Really small and annoying. So up next is the orthocanthus. I can say that one. And I believe this is a fish. Look at this beautiful guy. He's not drowning just yet. But if we hit him, I believe he will start to suffocate. So he's looking really cool, actually. You can't actually do anything to him. But he's just a fish. He'll open his mouth while you hit him and suffocate. And we actually get some decent stuff from it. We get raw fish, and we also get shark teeth, which can be used in various things. So let's go into here. You can actually use them to make arrows, which is really cool. And if you get a feather, a shark tooth, and a stick, you can make five arrows, which is really great, rather than the traditional one, with just a piece of flint. And if you put dragonfly wings, which you create by just putting a dragonfly in a crafting table, you get two dragonfly wings, and you'll get an arrow if you make it with a dragonfly wing instead of feather. So that is really cool, and great for making arrows, basically. So up next is the crab. The crab is cute. Oh my god, look at this thing. He's beautiful. But if you hit him, he is not like aggressive at you straight away but if you hit him he will come at you sideways and start to take you down look at that damage oh my god half a heart let's take him out because he i love it how it walks sideways it's just beautiful so yeah let's move on to some more mobs the one i've got here is the dimitrodon so these names are really difficult oh, i can eat my dragonfly now let me eat this oh my god it's beautiful oh that was tasty so tasty right then Dimitridon looks like this. He's kind of like a lizard dinosaur thing and looks incredible. You're looking good and got some sound effects of his own as well. Let's take him out. And oh no, he almost went in the portal. So we just got to kill him before he goes in the portal. And yeah, that could have been really, really bad. So up next, we've got two more. We just have the Crassigrinus, which is a work in progress, and a giant Meganora. This one is awesome. Check it out. It's just a huge dragonfly it doesn't actually drop anything but it has a ton of health i think it took about 20 hits last time i tried this out with a diamond sword and i'm not going to chase after it because it just looks majestic and beautiful and this one is a work in progress i believe it's a fish it doesn't have a texture just yet but is not hostile whatsoever and i believe that is all this mod has to offer it is currently a heavy work in progress even though a lot is done already it just looks amazing and it's just yeah it's really good how it works and i like all the stuff about it and it does have a time cycle as well just in case you're wondering with a nice purple glow at night and a nice green one in the day so yeah that is pretty much what this mod has to offer and if you do want to try it out for yourself head to the description below and i'll take you to a minecraft forums post where you have install instructions and how to download it too and also if you're new to the channel and you did enjoy this video and commentary then do hit that subscribe button for daily minecraft videos and a like and a favorite from everyone else would be greatly appreciated too so thanks a lot for joining me with this mod and dr treoris who has sadly just passed away the traitor the dirty traitor. So yeah, this has been an awesome mod. I've been Dan from the Diamond Minecart and I'll catch you all later. Goodbye! <laughs> That's the kind of sound you should make. Hey there everyone, Dan here from the Diamond Minecart and welcome to another Minecraft mod review where today I'm going to be showcasing the Carboniferous mod which adds in a completely new dimension into your Minecraft game that transports you back in time all the way back to when ancient creatures ruled the earth. Now calm down, this is actually, I have myself a beautiful and legendary assistant named Dr. Treoris who is going to help me in this mod review to investigate this amazing new world that we've discovered. So how are you feeling today sir?
great. I'm glad you're feeling fine. So first up, we have some recipes to look at. So don't go running off after you interrupted my, my intro there. So what we're going to need is a time rod and a time box. Now to create the time rod, you're going to need two pieces of iron, two pieces of redstone and a diamond as well, which is not too bad considering you get to go to a whole new dimension. You're also going to need four other iron ingots and two blocks of lapis as well as two redstone and a diamond to create your time box too. So the time box and the time rod work together. You're going to have to actually place the time box in the ground. So like this, um, if you place it like this and then activate it, the um, structure will actually appear on top, which isn't what you really want. So place it into the ground and it'll look a little Little bit better and wow it's actually storming so are you scared Treyoris? i hope not you're supposed to be the bravest of explorers so you're coming with me so what you have to do to try and get to this dimension in spawn in the portal is you're going to need to right click the time box with the time rod so let's do that right now you need to stand back stand back Treyoris. stand back there we go we've got a beautiful beautiful portal and we're going in Treyoris. we're going to this new land come join me come on let's go through let's go through go through there we go that's more like it we'll see you on the other side go on Treyoris. Get in there. There we go. Let's meet him on the other side, kids. Aha, here we are. This is the amazing new dimension. I've got lots of things set up here, and it's raining here as well. So the weather kind of coincides. And where is Treoris? Treoris? Treoris, where are you, sir? Where are you, Treoris? This is no game right now. This is no game. Oh, well, we'll just have to try and find him later. So let's just get to the rest of the mod, and we'll see if we can find him later on. Can't believe he's actually punked out on me now. I can't believe it. Right, so while um, Treoris has just wandered off, leaving me by myself in this dangerous domain, we are going to check out some ores which appear in this new dimension, which starts with the fossils. And when you mine fossils, you will get bones. They're kind of like a little dinosaur skeleton in a piece of kind of like brown ore. So yeah, that is what the fossils look like. We've also got gold ore, which um, appears obviously in the overworld and can appear down here as well. We've also got a new one called hematite ore, which looks pretty cool. It's kind of like a brownie color. We've got pyrite ore, which looks similar to gold, but a little bit more orange. And looks like this will give you pyrite crystals when you mine it. You'll also get a char carbon ore, which is basically just the version of coal for this particular dimension. You can also get diamonds down here, but it's a bit harder to spot there's only a slight bit of color on here. So it looks like kind of like normal cobblestone, but with a diamond in the center. So yeah, you can get diamonds. You can get another gold ore, which is in one of the different biomes here. Another version of hematite ore and another version of pyrite ore. So these versions are in the different biomes. There's actually seven different biomes in this dimension, one of which contains volcanoes. And yeah, do I, do I, even, do I see a name tag behind there? There you are. Dr. Treoris, you are taking the actual mic right now. Don't just be hiding right... Oh, what? You found a volcano? Well, show it to me. Dude, we need to be so careful right now. Dr. Treoris, don't... Don't make any... Don't make any stupid moves right now, okay? Don't make any stupid moves. Oh, no! Dr. Treoris! No! <laughs> you know what? I'm not too bothered. It was his own silly fault. He should not have got so close to the edge. But hey, I told him, I warned him, and he was he was pretty pesky anyway. But here is a volcano. This is the volcano that will spawn in any biome, any shape, any size. This is a particularly big one. They don't have really anything special inside them. They're just, you know, lava. So just go on fire and die. But hey, it looks pretty sweet, and you can mine some of this stuff too. But yeah, as you can see, if you punch the edge, lava will just spill out. And it wasn't really a great idea to um, have it spawn near forest because the forest will just go up in flames. But anyway. This is a beautiful, beautiful volcano. Just be very, very careful near the edge. Ah, and this is actually something I want to show you as well. This is called a spider dungeon. It's a randomly spawning structure, which is basically just a dungeon full of cobwebs and spiders. Some of the new spider mobs in this mod. And as you can see down there, there are some of the new mobs. And there's someone else down there. Who is this? Dr. Treoris. We just watched you die. Did you just... You planned the whole thing changed your outfit and you just wanted to go for the treasure yourself didn't you didn't you didn't you well you can you can get in the pit with the spiders you can get in the pit right now yeah you've got no chance buddy no chance i'm sick of you sick of you right so now we have disposed of the traitor that is mr treoris then we're going to move on to some more useful items in this mod and one of the most useful ones in here for creating stuff with this mod is the grinder which you're going to need a granite gear a granite and a granite cobblestone for so to make these you're going to need some granite cobblestone which you can get from just mining normally in the world you can also craft it as well but we'll check that out later you're going to need four pieces and a piece of any kind of wood which hasn't been made into wooden planks to make the granite gear and then to make the normal granite you can smelt granite cobblestone and I believe you can grind up 
normal granite to make a granite cobblestone as well. So that is it. And this is the grinder in its full glory. It looks really cool, really Minecrafty, and looks awesome. So if we right click, we get this GUI here. It's going to need some kind of fuel, and then we'll get to some more recipes in a sec. So in here, we need some kind of thing to grind up the stuff that we put in. So that can come in the form of either a grinding stone or an iron grinding ball. Now to make a grinding stone, you're going to need a pearl and four granite. And the pearl is actually from one of the mobs in this mod, which we'll get to later. We've got the grinding stone that comes from that recipe. And then you can actually soup this up by adding four iron ingots to the grinding stone and make the iron grinding ball. So let's grab this ball here and then look at some recipes in the top. So we can actually make an iron ore clump if we put hematite and pyrite crystal into there. We can actually make um, carbon dust as well if we put charcoal in there. And we'll show you the granite stuff too. And there's some cool stuff you can do with this coral as well, which is sweet. So let's right click on here. You put the ball in the top, whether you have the grinding ball or the grinding stone. And then you put your materials in the bottom. So this time we're going to put hematite and a crystal in here. And then it will burn the wood or whatever you have to fuel in here. You can use anything like coal, charcoal, 